digging through people's discarded items. Sounds odd, but it was a great day. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I'm a reseller on eBay and I also own a brick and mortar antique store in Bedford, Indiana called Wildflower Antiques. My husband and I went to the Goodwill outlet on Valentine's Day. We went to all three outlets in Indianapolis and spent the whole day doing what we both enjoy and that's digging through people's discarded items. Sounds odd, but it was a great day. So this video is the haul video. I will link the video of our trip in the description so you can go back and watch us digging through people's discarded items and see what we found for resale. Now, some of the things I am going to be reselling and some of the things I'm going to be keeping for myself. So this will be part one. There will be part two because I got a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and get on with the haul. These, I, they're not old, but I am, I bought them because I like to put them in Crocs. They just are a part of decor. They're just rolling pins. And this one has a blue handle and this one has a red handle. I think this one probably came out of a child's kitchen set, but they do look cute in a Croc. So I got those for my own home decor. All right. Another thing that I got was this little tin. It's made by DecoWare. And I just sold the, the larger size. This was the smaller size one. And, it, you know, it's at the Goodwill outlet. It's very lightweight. And this I'm actually going to be showing in an upcoming live sale video. So that is for resale. And then I also picked up the or found this little metal matchbook holder it is it has a little um it, it's a little lopsided i guess right here uh, but it's still so cute with the floral accent on it uh, so this also will be available in another live sale that i'll be doing these are so cute they're just they're just vintage screen vintage i'm a sucker for anything lithograph i also picked up a big jar full of dice now what I do with these dice is I have a bubblegum machine in my house and I just fill it up with game pieces and dice. And so these are always laying in the, the bottom of the bin and I like to pull them out. But I also found this to keep them in and I think this is really cute. It's Walt Disney Productions and it's just, it looks like a baby food jar, but it has Minnie Mouse on it. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's cute. I don't know, so I picked it up. The next item that I picked up made me sad because, well, there's these two little ceramic dogs. This one has a little broken paw, but I, how can I leave these behind? I can't leave them behind. Look at their little faces. And I don't really collect dogs, but I don't know. I couldn't leave them behind, so I got them. And they have a little metal hook there. They probably had a mama dog that they were attached to. And I, trust me, I looked and looked for the mama dog and she was nowhere to be found. So I had to get the babies. The babies needed me to get them. And so I did. All right. Another thing, and those I will be reselling. Uh, another thing I picked up just to add to, you know, a jar or a canister are these, uh, cookie cutters. And now you'll see in tomorrow's video, I got a lot more. I got some metal ones. These Goodwill was trying to sell them for 99 cents. And I've noticed in our bins that the Goodwill, there's lots of things with Goodwill tags on them. So they're basically being not sold at Goodwill. So they're being in, they're ending up at the bins where, you know, I paid $1.29 a pound for them. So these were weighed hardly anything, but there's a Christmas tree, a Santa, and a turkey in this lot and they look cool in a clear jar or canister in your home all right another thing that i got and i don't know i haven't looked these up i don't know if they're worth anything but they're cute i thought i i could use them as a background decor and christmas items on a shelf but they are made by bath and body works now i know some bath and body works things will still sell 
if they're vintage. Well, if they're older Bath and Body Works. So I haven't looked these up. They're both exactly the same. And um, there's the mark. But I will look these up. There's no date on them anywhere. But we'll see. And there's there's two of them. But I don't, I don't know why Bath and Body Works was selling plates. I don't ever remember them selling plates. Not unless these are candle holders, maybe. I don't know. But Goodwill was trying to sell them for 69 cents a piece and nobody bought them. And then I bought them at the bids. All right, another thing I got is this Hakuna Matata mug. It is uh, from the Lion King. It was sold at Hallmark. You can see on the bottom here, Hallmark cards. They don't make this anymore and this sells for about 15 to 18 dollars on eBay. It's in great condition, there's no chips. If there were flaws on this, I wouldn't have picked it up. But since there are no flaws on it, it really doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Dropping things. So I, I picked that up. Another little cute little item that I got and then I couldn't find the mate for and it's got damage on it, but I can't leave it behind, is this little chicken salt shaker. It's got, I mean, she's got her tail feathers are, I guess, is this a rooster or a hen? I can never tell. You guys will let me know in the comments, I'm sure, but she's all chipped up everywhere, but she still, she does have her stopper still, and I do well with chicken items, so I got her to, I don't know, to resell maybe as an add-on for a sale. I can't leave it behind. I just can't do it. It's against all of my instincts to leave it behind. Another thing that I got, let me show you this little ceramic guy too. I love these. Uh, this Goodwill was trying to sell this guy for 69 cents. And honestly, I would have bought him for 69 cents. It still has, it's not vintage because it has a, it's original tag with a barcode. It's made in China, but they're cute. And I like these and I love ghosts. And I set them out at Halloween. So he's mine. And um, I don't care that he's modern because he's still cute. And he looks vintage, I think. All right, let me show you these before they fall off the table. Um, as you know, well, maybe you don't, but if you watch my videos, you know that I do put little add-ons to my packages when I sell things on eBay. And I find all of my package toppers mainly at the bins. So I got this entire bag of Valentine cards. Now these are not vintage, but they have a vintage look to them. I'll just, you know, put these on top of a package and, um, you know, I'm still recycling them and I will not sign them. I do send them blank. Oh, this one's cute. Uh, and I learned that trick from Melissa at Fresh Blooming Clothing. And it's such a good idea. If you don't sign the card, then the other person that receives the item can send it to somebody that they want. So just a bunch of, they're all, these are all Valentine cards. So I got those to use as package toppers for next Valentine's Day time of the items that I'm reselling. Along with that, I also picked up two boxes of Christmas cards that I will also use as package toppers. These are Hallmark cards and Goodwill was trying to sell them for $1.99 Originally, they were $4.92, but I got them at the bins. I maybe paid a quarter for them. There are 18 cards in each box, and I will use them as package toppers Christmas time next year. And then I also picked up, this is a Maurice Syndex where the wild things are. It says it's a portfolio of notes, and they're just note cards. But, you know, they're just note cards from where the wild things are, the story, with the envelope. So I thought these would be cute as package toppers as well. My husband actually found this, and it is dated 1980. Let me get a closer look. Lucas Films, 1979, and it is the Star Wars X-Wing fighter. Is that what this is called? I don't know. But it is the one that you push down on R2-D2, and it makes the wings... You know, go up and it doesn't have a goodwill sticker on it so that was probably from a raw donation and what i mean by raw donation means that um, someone just donated it to the donation center and then it ended up at the bins for whatever reason you know it didn't have a goodwill sticker on it originally 
And so speaking of vintage toys, I also picked up this vintage Polly Pocket RV. I digged for the Polly Pocket figures that go with it, but they were nowhere to be found. But I have sold these before and they can sell anywhere between 18 and $25. If it had more of the accessories with it, it would sell for a lot more. But this one is made, it's dated 1987 by Jeannie. More vintage toys, Misty. My husband found these. And I, I like little people. These aren't going to go for much, but I just thought I liked them. And they were at the bins. And sometimes, you know, you can almost become a hoarder when you go to the bins because you get the stuff for so cheap. And these are vintage little people. Well, this one is. And I think this guy is also Fisher Price, but I think he goes with the three men in a tub toy. So I'll have to look him up because maybe somebody has the three men in a tub toy and they don't have the third man. And I've got the third man and they need to buy it. So I'll look him up and see if he's worth anything on his own. And I think I have some more of these big figures at home. So I might lot them together and then sell them as a lot on eBay. Okay, are there any more vintage toys? I'm gonna save him for last because he's really cool. Oh yeah, there is one right here. This is also something that my husband found and he knows this stuff, so this must be vintage. It's a transformer. We've done very well with vintage transformers. Um, I am not even going to attempt to try to put this together because when my son was little and he played with these, they frustrated me and I ended up throwing them across the room because I can't figure these things out. I don't know how children do this. It's like a sorcery to put these things back together. But usually on these, somewhere there is a date. And I'm not going to spend an hour looking for the date. I'm sure my husband probably already found it. It looks like it is supposed to be some sort of a GMC truck when it's put together. But I'm not even going to attempt it because I'll end up throwing it across the room. All right. And the next thing, also my husband found, he found good stuff. He always finds good stuff when he goes with me. But it's this vintage case metal tractor accessory. I know that this has a name. I think it's something for corn. I don't know. I know that it has a specific name that this was used for. Uh, and these um, do pretty well, uh, probably anywhere between $15 to $20 on this. And we'll clean it up a little bit. It has the string tied around it for some reason, but that was a good find. It's pretty lightweight too. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. The next thing that I will show is, well, I'll show this. It's just a bath and, no, a bath, yeah, bath and Body Works wall flower burner. I use these in my house. And, uh, you know, they're expensive to buy in the store. Goodwill was trying to sell this for 99 cents. So I picked it up at, at the bins and it's pretty for fall. So I use these oil warmers in my house. And so now I have one for fall. And I didn't pay hardly anything for it. These... I, now, if this didn't have the tag, I wouldn't have bought it, but it is this mask. It's a bird mask, and it was from the Cirque du Soleil Allegria, because, you know, every year they, they change up the routines and stuff, and so it's a different something, but it has, it's new with tags. It has the tag on it, uh, and these, this originally was selling for $15, and they actually sell for about $15 to $20 online, new with tags. So I got that simply because it had the tags and this is super lightweight. So this was probably maybe five cents when, you know, it's all said and done, depending on the weight of the item. All right. The next thing I got this for me, I, I don't, I haven't looked it up. I just really, really liked it and I wanted to add it into my home decor and it's this old book. It's Daughters of America. And it says a, or women of the century. It says it's illustrated by Phoebe Hanford. And it has a pretty spine on it. It has a little bit of issue, wear issue on the corners, but it has the beautiful gold pages. But I just really liked it to just to even use as decor. Um, I like that it's a century of women. I would say, if I had my guess, I would say it was probably mm, 1900. And it does have illustrations of different women of the century. There's women of the revolution, women of pres wife of presidents, women reformers. All right. And I did get a couple other books and they will be in tomorrow's haul. But um, I also picked up some Christmas items. 
of course. And I did get a couple ornaments. This one is Hallmark it's Tiny Tim, and it's dated 1991. The thing of it is, a little tip, when you do go to the bins, make sure that when you find an ornament, that the ornament is actually in the box. I have gotten, grabbed some boxes, and then the ornament's not in there. But this is a ceramic ornament of Tiny Tim. And I'm kind of conflicted on keeping this because when my son was little, he played Tiny Tim in one of the plays that we were in. And so it kind of reminds me of him. So I'll see, I mean, if it's worth $20, I'm gonna sell it, but I may not if it's not worth a whole lot. And then I also got this one. This one is a Hallmark ornament dated 1999 and it's surfing the net and it has the little mouse that's riding on a mouse, a computer mouse, and like a, like a, he's on a um, surfboard. So cute. And here he is. And he is the net surfer. I just like Hallmark ornaments. I know that they're not worth a whole lot of money. Now, some of them could be, but this one's probably not. But he's cute. And then I also picked up, this is just a vintage box, a Christmas box. There's no markings on it. I liked it. I will use it in my home to to stack things on for a display. Has a little holly flowers on it. Weighs hardly nothing, so I picked that up. And I did get, there are some broken ones in here, and I'll fish those out, but I got this little miniature ornament box. Originally, it was 43 cents at Kmart, probably from the 70s or 80s, and it's, some of the broken ones are actually falling out of the side, so I'll have to, uh, dump those out before I cut myself with them because they are glass. And you might, you probably saw this in the video. He's not super old, but I can't leave him behind. He's a little flocked Santa. I'll add him to my army of sa flocked Santas and he will fit in just fine. Then I also picked up, oh, there's a dice in here. I have to put that with my dice collection. This is another little vintage ornament. It's plastic. It's got Mrs. Claus and a little flock tree on it. I mean, I just can't, I can't not buy it. And I did pick up, I actually got two of these. The other one will sh I'll show you in tomorrow's video, but these are just the little miniature manger scenes. With the glitter on it, just, just laying in the bin. Nobody wanted it but me. And then... This is a solo nesting Santa ornament. There's no, he has no friends or no babies inside, uh, but he will go in my Santa collection. He isn't worth a lot of money, but I liked his face. He doesn't have a creepy face, but he has an unusual face. And he's got 3D eyebrows. So he's cute. So he will go into my collection as well. And then this ornament, I need to do a little bit of research. It is Ferdinand, I think, but it's made in Italy. So I'm going to have to, and I haven't looked this up at all. Um, you can see here. But it is made in Italy. It's Henri. I think it's made by Henri in Italy. So I don't know if this is worth a whole lot, but again, I can't not, I can't not get it. It's made in Italy. It's vintage. So I'm going to get it. And another thing I got was also made in Italy. And this reminds me of a Fontanini. It is Fontanini. It's a Fontanini Santa dated 1989. And it's the kneeling Santa next to baby Jesus. I haven't looked up comps for this, but I knew that a lot of vintage Fontanini pieces do pretty well, especially the nativity pieces. I've actually sold a nativity baby Jesus for about $25 on his own. So I went ahead and picked him up at the bins as well. Then I found, oh, and you saw that in the video too, my little Prixie, my little pixie elf with the haunting soulless eyes, just laying there in the bins. And this was a bin that's been switched over because I don't get into that mess of digging when they first bring a bin out. Oh no, I wait till the dust settles and then I go digging. I'll pick up their sloppy seconds basically because I'm not getting into that mess because that's ridiculous. Um, and most everything that I have found has came from me going through the bin after everybody else was like a ravaged animal going through the bin. And he was sitting there and look at his soulless eyes. 
uh, you know, he's going to go in my collection as well. But he's not dated, you know, but he is vintage. And he's mine. And I also picked up him because, I mean, I, 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 how could I leave him behind? Just a little pixie. I don't know if he was probably attached to something, but we'll add him to my army as well. He's made out of plastic. And then I I found this and I grabbed it. You know, when you go to the bins, you just grab things and then you go off to the side, or at least we do. We go off to the side and then we look through our carts to see if we'll look up comps then and throw things back that we decided against. And this was one thing that I got. It's a Hallmark ornament or ornament microphone. Um, it's Marioki. It's a karaoke, Christmas karaoke microphone, and it plays some songs. I'm not going to play the songs because of copyright, and it's kind of annoying. Um, it it sound you can sound like an elf, so you can change your voice. Let me see if I can do that. You can change your voice to sound like an elf. Do I sound like an elf? Probably not really, but you can do that. But we looked these up, and they were selling anywhere between fifteen and twenty five dollars. So things that are new in the package like that, you know, you always want to grab and then look up later and see, you know, if it's worth your time. And that one to me is worth my time. But I also picked up this was a Department 56 Christmas tree or winter tree. It's made by Department 56. I haven't looked up comps for this. I don't know that it's worth anything. It's very smashed. I need to bring it back to life a little bit. But um, if it if I if it's not worth resell, then I'll use it in my decor i'll decorate it and use it at home at christmas time another thing i got and i don't know i haven't looked this up but it was interesting and it was i mean i probably paid two pennies for it but it's has kermit the frog and it's greetings from saudi arabia i don't know why i don't know what this was for but i'll look it up and see then i also picked up these vintage cake toppers they're baby shower. They're so cute. Are they worth any money? Probably not a ton, but oh, they're just so cute. This one says, guess what? So someone that likes to decorate cakes might want these. They've got the little, so it's like a gender reveal party, maybe? You know, those are big now. They didn't do a gender reveal party when I had my children. You just had a baby shower. And there's this little stork. And just some bits and pieces. There's also these little picks and a little some baby bottles and rattles, little accessories for cake decorating. Super cute. So I will wash those up and uh, get them listed. All right, I also picked up. Um, well, this I guess this is Christmas. This is just just a cover, but. I, I'm keeping it. I had to rescue it. I looked for the rest of the book and it wasn't there, but it's just the cover <laughs> and it's the story of Jesus and it has these angels on there. So in my mind, I'm going to use it on a shelf with Christmas items. I'm going to try to get this masking tape off so it doesn't, you know, ruin the graphic anymore. But then she would, she tried to ring this up as a book because hardback books are 50 cents, I believe. 50 cents or 75 cents. And I was like, this is not a book. And so she's like, okay, just put it in the cart and weigh it with the rest of the stuff. So that's good because that wasn't a book. Then I also picked up these little, um, it, it is Wilton, dated 1992. You can make cookies or mu mini muffins, but I had seen somewhere on Pinterest and I actually got another cake pan that will be in tomorrow's haul. Um, where you'll, they've made a display um, in a basket just filled with silver hearts and cake pans. And it looked really cute. So I'm going to try to do something like that with these because you see these a lot. You see these cake pans a lot with the hearts on the mat, Goodwill. Goodwill tried to sell this one originally for $1.99, but it ended up at the bins for me. And I will add that to my stash of decor. Then we also found, we might have found some more of these too. I'll have to look and see, but these are just uh, Halloween decor pieces made by Eureka. But there's a skeleton man and a kitty pumpkin. 
And then I grabbed this, just, I don't know, it's just cute. It is a vintage Hallmark happy birthday placemat. It's made out of paper. But isn't that cute? I thought it was super cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I had to get it. I had to get it. I just had to. And then I also picked up this. Well, this is actually one of the first things that I grabbed. Um, I do have to repair it a little bit. It has kind of coming off of the stand just a little bit. So I put some wood glue in there and glue it, but it's a napkin holder of these really cool vintage mushrooms. These do pretty well. I do pretty well with mushroom things, but I will. And now we'll move on to Halloween. I found these, uh, this garland, felt garland that I will use for Halloween decorations. And I also found this little hand-painted black cat made out of wood. He's so cute. And then, this is not old, but it's old looking and I liked it. And it, it was at the bin, so it was next to nothing. It's very lightweight. And it's this paper mache cat head. It does have these weird leaves on it that were glue sticked on that I'm going to finish taking off because I don't like that part of it. But it'll look cute on top of the shelf. And I also picked up this was a surprising find. It is this vintage dare uh, to keep kids off of drugs fanny pack and these really bright neon 90s colors. It's in really good condition, the inside and the outside. And this sells on eBay for about $35. This is really lightweight. I paid under a dollar, probably under 50 cents for this. The zippers work fine on it, so this will be going up on eBay as well. So that's a pretty surprising find. When I showed it to my husband, he was like, no. But I said, I don't know, I got a feeling about it. And it turned out being a good feeling. All right, I, I don't know why I picked this up. Some things you just pick up because you just can't leave it behind. It's Garfield fabric. It's really cute, but there's probably, at least probably, uh, maybe three yards of fabric here. You can see it's got Garfield in a heart, and it's got Odie and Garfield with some sunflowers. So I don't know. I thought since there was so much of it, I might be able to, to sell it online. So we will see. It's kind of heavy, but there's a lot of it there. I might be able to resell it. Another useful item that we picked up is these business card that you can print your own business cards. These, I, you know, I buy my business cards from this, this to print, but I could do like specialty ones for the holidays or something I could print off my own. And I have printed off my own before. And then these are laser inkjet labels. We're going to be in the process of moving my reselling business here to the shop. So when I organize the bins and stuff that I have certain things in, you know, I will want them labeled and I pick these up at the bins. So it's much cheaper than buying them at the store because they're kind of expensive. And then the last thing was my favorite thing that we found the whole day. And my husband found it and he showed it to me from across the room and I, my eyes got as big as saucers. But it is this vintage Mobley toy. It's a sleepy eye squeak dog. He still squeaks. It is Edward Mobley. It's in such good condition too. But look at him. I know, sorry, all your dogs are probably going crazy right now. I won't squeak it anymore. And my dog, when I squeak things, he goes a little nuts too, but super cute. And these were kind of all over the place. At an auction, these were selling for a very, very low price. I don't list anything, hardly very, very little, if ever, things on an auction. Uh, so I will not do him as an auction. I will do him as a buy it now. He was just laying there. They had already switched out the bins. He was just laying there. They have already been dug through and savaged upon. Uh, and nobody wanted him. That's the thing about the bins that I go to. It seems like a lot of people aren't finding what I'm wanting to find. And it's just laying there waiting on me. So it was a good day. And I'm going to end part one and I will be getting ready to film part two. So when you watch part two, I'll be in the same clothes. 
uh, because I'm getting ready to film it right now. If I did them both together, they'd be too long. We're already at 35 minutes. That's a pretty long video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, say hi, random letters, whatever. And I, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and say bye guys. See you next time.